This is the Netherlands, a small, tightly packed country with over 1,300 people per square mile, making it the most densely populated nation in the European Union. It's known for its cycling culture, liberal policies and world-class art. But there's another remarkable quality about this little nation, one that's earning it global recognition, its ability to feed the world. On paper, the Netherlands seems an unlikely agricultural powerhouse, lacking many of the natural advantages once considered essential for large-scale food production. Let me explain. Ordinarily, producing food on a large scale demands vast stretches of land for crops, livestock and everything in between. But the Netherlands is a small country. Most of its territory should be taken up by towns and cities. Good farming also needs fertile soil, rich in nutrients. Yet Dutch farmland is often reclaimed from the sea. Sandy, peaty, even saline. Far from ideal for growing crops. And then there's the climate. Instead of warmth and sunshine, the Netherlands is cool, damp and cloudy for much of the year. By all accounts, it shouldn't work. And yet, against the odds, the Netherlands is the world's second largest exporter of food by value, behind only the United States, a country nearly 270 times its size. So, how have the Dutch pulled it off? Simply put, by using some of the most efficient agricultural technologies in the world. Global implications of doing high-tech indoor farms is that you can grow a lot more food with a lot fewer resources and much less impact on the environment. Across the Netherlands, nearly 24,000 acres of crops grow inside vast industrial greenhouses that stretch across the countryside. To put that into perspective, that's the equivalent of 18,000 football fields, or about 12 times the size of Central Park. Inside these greenhouses, the Dutch have built one of the most advanced farming ecosystems on Earth. Less water, we use 50% less energy. A lot of people think it's science fiction, but it really is not. It's powered by Agritech, a fusion of artificial intelligence, robotics, biotechnology and big data, seamlessly integrated with traditional tools like tractors, sensors and GPS. The result? A system so efficient that a single acre of land under glass can produce what would normally require 10 acres of open farmland, and do it with far less water and fertilizer. For example, Dutch technology makes it possible to grow a pound of tomatoes using just half a gallon of water, compared to about 15 gallons in the United States. Over the past 30 years, the Dutch tomato industry has become the most productive in the world, growing more per square mile than any other country on the planet. But it's not just tomatoes. The Netherlands are also the world's top exporter of potatoes and onions, and the second largest exporter of vegetables overall in terms of value. This success has not gone unnoticed. The Netherlands' combination of innovation, collaboration and efficiency has made it the global hub for agricultural research and development, attracting many of the world's leading food corporations. In fact, 15 out of the top 20 largest agri-food businesses have major research and development centers in the Netherlands. The presence of these global giants has had a profound impact on the Netherlands economy, hosting the research and development centers of the likes of companies such as Unilever, Nestle and Cargill not only creates thousands of high-skilled jobs, but also drives foreign investment, strengthens the knowledge economy and fuels export-led growth. These firms collaborate closely with Dutch universities and startups, ensuring a constant exchange of innovation and expertise. The result is a thriving industrial network that extends beyond agriculture, influencing biotechnology, logistics and sustainable energy. All of this contributes to the Netherlands being one of the wealthiest nations in Europe, with high GDP per capita, robust infrastructure and a reputation for resilience and ingenuity. In essence, the country's agricultural success doesn't just feed the world, it enriches the nation itself. Corporate investment may fuel the economy, but it's innovation at the smallest scale, the seed, that truly sustains the Netherlands' global leadership in agriculture. More than a third of all global trade in vegetable seeds originates in the Netherlands. There's also Seed Valley, a hub that's home to many of the world's leading seed companies. Here, researchers and engineers focus on developing high-yield, 
climate-resilient seed varieties, pushing the boundaries of what modern agriculture can achieve. And they do a good job. A single high-tech greenhouse tomato seed, priced below 50 cents, has been known to produce a mind-boggling 150 pounds of tomatoes. It's important to remember, these achievements aren't driven by technology alone. They come from a national mindset, one that values cooperation just as much as innovation. In the Netherlands, collaboration is the engine of progress, and it's helped the country stand among Europe's most forward-thinking nations for years. The secret? A highly effective approach to collaboration, known as the Dutch Triple Helix model, a framework for forging partnerships between the private sector, government, and academia. Each stakeholder plays a crucial role. Academic institutions fuel research and expertise, the government supports with favourable policies, and businesses bring commercial viability. It's built on a simple yet powerful idea that the Dutch call 1 plus 1 equals 3. The belief that when we combine talent and resources, challenges become opportunities and innovation scales faster. You can see this philosophy in action at places like the Dairy Campus, a living laboratory where farmers, suppliers and processors come together to shape the future of dairy. The flurry of interest in agriculture and food technology is the result of several powerful trends. Glowing demand for protein, especially from the developing world, is putting pressure on food supply. At the same time, consumer tastes in the Western world are shifting from mass-produced brands towards healthier and more unique products. The goal is clear – to meet the world's growing demand for sustainable protein while reducing reliance on traditional, resource-heavy farming methods. The Netherlands may be shaping the future of farming, but the stakes extend far beyond its borders. The world now faces its greatest agricultural challenge in history. Produce more food in the next four decades than all farmers in history have harvested over the past 8,000 years. That's because by 2050, the Earth will be home to as many as 10 billion people, up from today's 7.5 billion. If massive increases in agricultural yield are not achieved, matched by massive decreases in the use of water and fossil fuels, a billion or more people may face starvation. For a country so small, the Netherlands casts an enormous shadow on the future of food. Through innovation, collaboration and courage, it has transformed its limitations into leadership showing that sustainability and prosperity can go hand in hand. As the world races to feed a growing population, the Dutch example stands as proof that ingenuity, not size, will define the farms of tomorrow.